Greg Rodriguez. Greg Rodriguez, uh, 24 years old. Bali, I work uh, usually freelance uh, production, film production. Actually, sa filmmaking ako nagka interest. Nag-start kasi yung hilig ko sa filmmaking nung I started to act for international films. I saw kasi yung professionalism nila and the way they work is very different from here. And quality-wise, talagang inuuna nila yung quality over anything else. Uh, Aral ako uh, sa Marilu Diaz Film Institute and Art Center. Kasi hinanap ko talaga yung school. Sabi ko, I need the right school kasi. Eh, so far, the only director here that goes, really is an international director, is Direct Marilu herself. Fortunately, dun sa yung huling shinut ni Direct Marilu, yung ina, ay yung ikaw pag-ibig. Uh, I worked there as a director staff, so kind of did a uh, the fourth assistant director. Diretso ako dun sa first, sa assistant director mismo sa second. So if they need something, uh, kailan ko na re shot list, anong shot tayo, I take down everything. Tapos pag wala yung dalawa, syempre ako yung magkocall ng shot for direct. So kind of crowd control or secondary direction on ano, mga secondary actors ang ginagawa. Pag may malaking crowd scene, parang gumawa kami dun 600 people. So, yun, dinedirect namin nyo. Guys, dito tayo, blah, 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 those stuff. We were very lucky kasi si Direct Marilu, ano siya eh. Matapang siya kumuha ng younger than, than her. Kasi yun ang gusto niya, parang new breed and whatever. And syempre, tinuruan niya. So, she's confident about it. Marami. <laughs> Maraming problems. Especially when you're working with people who really didn't study filmmaking. Parang usually kasi nasanay na bara-bara na lang. Parang walang step by step. Kami kami kasi very trained to do this, this, this. Kasi at the totality of it, it gives you the quality at the end of the day. No matter how small the detail is. Financial is always there. If I think kahit sa namang film, kahit malaki pa yan o hindi, it's always a problem. Pero it's a matter of, ano eh, good producer din eh. What I learned kasi, producing kasi is not actually more about the pera lang eh. Uh, if, if, if you invested on goodwill on a lot of people, it's easier to produce anything actually. Uh, in a way, when I write story kasi, it gives you a reflection din eh of yourself. And sometimes, uh, nasa surprise ka na lang na parang wow, ito tingin nila parang oh, a part of me din, ganun parang you discover new things about yourself technically in sa filmmaking itself parang ganyan you realize yung importance ng independent films and the importance of mainstream films also na kailangan ng balance to them As you thought before nung mag-aaral pala ako ng independent film oh, indie Dali lang yan. Kailangan kakaiba, kailangan ganyan. Oh, kailangan walang katulad. Tapos, nag ako, I realize, hindi, kailangan nagkukwento ka lang mula sa puso mo. Oh, parang straight from your core. There's no actually boundary between the mainstream and the indie that you have to love filmmaking. Not, the, not love mainstream filmmaking or independent filmmaking. Kasi when it's not balanced, it turns out crap. Alam mo yun? Parang, you abuse poverty, you showcase everything. Lahat ng mahirap, gusto mo kaawaan ng mga tao. Yung mga ganong problems, pag you're too indie, tapos you're too smart, too art film, mag oh, example nga na direct, it's bullshit nga daw na mag invite ka ng mga tao para manood, tapos sasabihin mo pag hindi nila naintindihan, eh, hindi kasi kaya ng utak nyo eh. It's communication at the end of the day. So I learned na, when a film is not appreciated much at hindi na intindihan, it's always a director's fault. So, natutuwa ko na always look inside me first before sisihin ko yung mga tao. Wala eh. Wala akong talento eh. Hindi nga dapat ako nagde-direct eh. Wala <laughs> akong alam. Wala akong alam.